a five-year-old would have would have come up with a smarter way and more intelligent way of, of actually letting people farm something but that would that's that's like two years too old for wargaming apparently so it's so brain dead that you just yolo every game six times in a row just to be able to play once and then once you finally get a chance to play it everybody else is yoloing and that game is so shit it's so dumb it's so fucking dumb it really didn't take a supernatural intelligence to come up with a smarter way, more intelligent way of, of doing that. But, yeah. Alex Ripley. That's funny. I don't know about any Alex Ripley. But I've heard a lot of Ripley in the last month or so. Um... But they have to do things like that because otherwise people just want to play Hanover and you can't get a match. At no, it's not true. You don't have to do it like they did it. You could have limited the, the amount of base experience you have to get. Every 5,000 base experience, you get one intelligence. You could still be YOLOing like a moron, but how much would you get? Two, three, four hundred base experience? 500 per game? You'd have to do it like 10 times instead of playing two regular games. Two to three regular games doing really good and progressing. It's just so dumb. a lot of HP okay maybe not a lot get out of the way Alaska this has lasted longer than my first marriage long why did you stop there Thank you for 38 months, Erp. Appreciate it. Because he's deal those wagons. We get rid of that Kitakaza? We're going to push into Alaska. Say it all. Oh my lord, it's not even close to where it was supposed to go. Is he gonna get beached there? I can't believe he actually managed to not get stuck. Oh, he did get stuck. I sometimes hate this game from the bottom of my soul. Not from the bottom of my heart, from the bottom of my soul. Honestly. And now because this took so long... Oh, never mind. He already fired everything. I, I wanted to say I have to go in there. Because this took this fucking long. But I actually don't have to. I don't think you got an armored deck, Kaga.
We can easily kill their carrier and this game is going to be a hell of a lot easier for us. Is that what you're gonna do, Missouri? What the fuck is he doing? Gee, if only Kaga was dead before I pushed. Wouldn't have that been something. Oh, nice meme. Nice meme. That's... It's cool shit. And now I'm gonna die. And he's not. Oh my god, he missed. I love this game. Hey, we lost the game. I mean, of course we did. <sighs> All our carrier had to do when I was here was stay in this vicinity, drop a fighter, and let me kill Kaga. I kill Kaga, and our carrier can finish the rest of literally everybody. Right? Easy. I already smacked him for like 15k with the first volley. I had a, I had a reload booster. I was not even 13 kilometers away from him. Me and the carrier could have killed him in the next minute or two. Two minutes, right? And then our carrier can toy with them as much as he wants. But I realized my carrier is not going to do it. And I had the chance to kill their, um, not Alaska, the Missouri. But then game decided to fuck me over there as well. At least we traded. But that could have went a lot better. Imagine if there was not an enemy carrier to deal with right now. How easy of a win this would have been. He was very lucky to kill a DD there. Let's see. He can actually still win this. If he can neutralize the, the destroyer. Blind drop him. Hopefully. He only has 5k. Not 
don't know if there were any hits. Yeah, but now we're gonna lose A, B, and they have C as well. Sure, our carrier can kill their destroyer, but their destroyer is gonna take all the caps. That's gonna be enough time, hopefully. They only have 500 points. But our carrier needs to get in A and B. I'll, I just want to see how this ends. I want to see if he's going to be actually able to kill the Cossack and then win the fight against Kaga somehow. Yep, he's got him with the next one. Cossack might have a smoke now, so that's gonna postpone even longer. He just needs to get into A and B with, with his carrier to stop the major point influx. Cossack fucked up. Unless RNG screws us over. There we go. That buys us even more time. Kaga has 40k. Enterprise has 33. And now Kaga can follow it up with Torpedo Strike and then Kaga wins. Ah, if only Kaga was dead, chat! If only Kaga was dead, am I right? It, this can still happen, but unlikely. Very unlikely, because our carrier does not have a Damacon. Kaga scores a couple of torpedoes, gets a flooding, it's a perma flood, GG. He's gonna need a really good strike. It's only three torps. I don't think that was even a flood. Can he get another one? Okay, Kaga fucked up torpedo strike apparently. He's gonna go for Perma 16. Oh, Kaga's out of torpedo planes. Chad, this. Do not ram. If he rams you, he wins. He's got it. He's got it. That torpedo hit on a DD. The first DD he killed, that was that was a crucial moment. All right. I think he deserves an applause. He did a good job. He did a good job. You don't compliment a carrier every day, but this one deserved it. He could have helped me a little bit to make this easier. Uh, where we kill Kaga early. And then we deal with the rest together. But, uh... Yeah, the fact he managed to torpedo the first destroyer... I knew, I knew he has a chance after that. Because it's only gonna be one short smoke. And low HP. So he can kill him too. And then it's a carrier versus carrier. Anything can happen. Nice. I did not expect to get a win uh, there, so that's a good, good shit.